channel so for today's video I'm actually filming a video all about GCSEs and like this time of year because everybody's going through them and yeah basically I just wanted to create a video on how not to stress and some tips on revision if you enjoy this video please smash a big thumbs up and also comment down below some videos that you would like to see even if they're GCSE related, just comment them down below and I will be sure to check them out. Also subscribe if you haven't already. I upload every single Friday at 5pm so go and hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it. And without further ado, let's just get into the video. Yes. Tip number one is to find out your learning style. Now my learning style is where I like can see something and I can like repeat looking at it. So constantly look at it and I will remember it. Now I know a lot of people aren't like that but my style is visual. Some people's learning type will be to hear like the information to keep it in their head. Some people's will be to write it down in little notes. However you like to like learn, make sure you know so that you can learn the best way like that. Rather than sort of guessing because I know that if I would have just gone to revision session sessions and listen to the teacher constantly I'd have not actually like probably passed the second thing is finding out the best resource to use now my favorite was Sam Learning I loved 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 using Sam Learning it helped me pass all of my sciences and my child development I absolutely loved like using it it only like made me came out with C's in science but it was because of my C7s and like P7s I just couldn't do those and that's why I only came out with C's but yeah I absolutely needed some learning to be able to pass my science GCSEs. There are other resources out there such as like GCSE pod, your school's website might have something on there to use. I only could use some learning, there was nothing else that I really found like good to use. Whereas a lot of my friends like to use these GCSE books that we got, I can't actually show you so I'll insert a photo if I can find one. But basically they're just like GCSE and then there'll be like the exam board that you are with. There'll be that on there and basically it goes through all the information and it's like got jokes in it and it's... I actually liked using those books but they weren't really helpful for me to like to me that much because looking at it and like writing it down again it just didn't really help me that much. I prefer to do activities on the like information so that I learn better from it. Um, but a lot of my friends used the books and like used flashcards and they'd make little flashcards or mind maps and it had helped them to remember. Now that didn't work for me but if that works for you then definitely start creating some, putting them around your room so you're constantly seeing them and apparently that works amazingly so definitely do that if you like flashcards and stuff like that. Number three would be using past papers. Now for subjects like maths and English where you don't really, like you can't really revise, you're really not going to know what questions are going to be coming up. Like, it's really hard to revise for them. Maths, past papers are amazing to do. It gets you to know how they're going to ask the questions to you in the exam. It gets you to learn about the different, like, formulas and stuff because you're using them in practice constantly. That's what I mean about my learning style. I absolutely love doing past papers, but other people might not. So if you don't, then I wouldn't recommend past papers. But I absolutely loved using past papers. It helped me with my maths. My English, I didn't use past papers, but I used past questions. So I'd practice and practice and practice rewriting past questions out and that sort of thing. I know exams are going to be a bit different this year. So obviously they might not be similar to what I'm saying and you might not be able to use the resources that I'm saying because past papers might not work anymore. But I really benefited from using past papers. And if your teachers still recommend using past papers, then if you find it easy to use past papers and that it helps, definitely do it. Now, I'm gonna move on to how not to stress because I know this is like a quick video and I'm not really like in depth with revision and things. So if you need more of revision on a certain subject, then I would definitely go over to Eve Bennett's channel. I will link it down below, but she has such an amazing channel for revision tips and all that sort of thing and goes really into depth about how to revise for certain subjects. So yeah, I'll link that down below so you can go and check it out. But yeah, she basically makes YouTube videos on certain subjects. And also, if you think that you could watch people making videos 
on like different subjects definitely go and check youtubers out like her because if you're you enjoy the youtuber anyway and then they make videos like that you're obviously going to want to watch it it's going to want to make you learn and i definitely feel like that's a good way of learning if you like to be able to hear their vision tips and that sort of thing now the main reason i didn't stress out too much was because i had this countdown app now the usual countdown app that like most people have is not the like one that I use. I had a countdown app for exams so basically it said to do at the top and it had all your exams that you had to do and then it had like completed so then you had all the ones that you completed. Now that looks like a massive long list when I had it to do at the start of my exams. I started my exams on the 11th of May and I didn't finish until the 25th or something like that of June which I know is crazy but it helps because Every time I had an exam, it would go to the to, uh, to the completed side. So then I could see how much like exams I'd done, I'd completed, and the sh list to do was getting shorter. And because I could see it getting shorter, it just helped me out so much because I knew like my exams were nearly over. And also, I also had prom on there, so I could see prom getting closer. And because I was so excited for prom. Like, the more that I did the exams, the more exams ticked off, the closer it was getting to prom, which was, like, so exciting. So definitely get, like, something similar to that, like a countdown app or something like that, so that you can see, like, how well you're doing, how much progress you're making of, like, ticking the exams off. And, yeah, just that sort of thing. Helps you less to stress as well, because you're always, like, knowing that exams are being moved out of the way now, you've finished that, it's done. Subjects when they finish two exams or three exams, however many you have in a subject, once they're done, they're done. You don't have to ever go back to that subject and it's just the best feeling in the world. Also, I would say revision is key, but don't over revise. Now, I know so many people that revised like start of January and I just couldn't do it. Like I would not be able to have started revising in January for exams that start in May. I started revising in like April time and I'm not saying don't revise because obviously then you're not pushing yourself hard enough but I don't feel like you should push yourself to a point where you're getting upset, you're too stressed to even like want to revise. You've got to be in that main, like mind frame is it? Where you know that you want to revise and you're giving yourself regular breaks, you're still giving yourself you time to like go and get a bath, have a bit of a pamper or go out and see your friends, you're still doing that as well as revising, you're still having time for your family, doing the things that make you happy because it just takes your mind off the exams, it clears your head, like you have a bit of time to yourself, a bit of time to do the things you enjoy and I feel like that is a major part of like not being stressed. When pe the teachers are like, oh you need to go to revision sessions, you need to do this, you need to do that it just stresses you out and when they're telling you exams are this many days away, this many days away, this many days away, I know one teacher in my school constantly was telling us how many days away it was till exams. It stresses you out, it does and they're only doing it to prepare you and like obviously they're doing it out of best interest but it does stress you out and it does make you feel really like nervous and scared and exams are scary and I know a lot of people are going to be upset and scared and anxious during this time of year but you've got to remember that these are just exams like yes there are exams that are going to control your future kind of but if you don't get the exam results I know a lot of people that are doing like the course that I'm on at the minute they're re just retaking their maths or their English that's literally it as long as you pass the major ones that you want to pass you're going to be okay in life and I'm sure there's careers advisors and things in your school that can help you out if you don't pass but as long as you know you tried your best in your exams, you know that you revised like to the maximum that you could. Because obviously some people's maximums for revision could be to revise in January all the way to May, revise every single night and that is the amount of revision they can do. I couldn't handle that much revision so I started revising like April time, like properly anyways. And I just revised at my own level, like if I revised for an hour or two, and then I had a break, and a break meaning like I watched like a couple of episodes of Friends or something. Then I went back to it and revised again. Then I had another break. And just keep making sure that you're not constantly stressing and you're having time to yourself. It, it just helps so much to be able to know that you're 
still got you time and things like that. I know it sounds stupid, but honestly, it does really help. And yeah, that is pretty much all I can say. Obviously, I would also mention just if you can attend revision sessions and they benefit you, also go to them because I know a lot of teachers got on at me for not going to them. And I did end up going to quite a few in the end, but like at the start, I just didn't want to go. I was like, I'm not really interested in revising this early before exams but they do actually really help and even staying after school and just using their computers if you're like surrounded by people that are wanting to learn as well like then you just want to learn and yeah that's pretty much all the tips and everything that I have for you guys today obviously I know it's not in depth or anything like that and if you would like to know the grades that I got I will put them in the description but obviously that is just if you would like to know and it's not like me bragging or anything like that it's just so that you can see what I use to revise during this video what I've told you and what I think works best and then you can use that to your own advantage and see what I got for my what I revised for yeah if that even makes sense there'll be a link down below anyways they'll be in the description anyways <laughs> but yeah I really really hope you enjoyed this video I hope it helped like you guys out who are doing GCSEs right now or A levels and I know it's not really an in-depth revision video, it's just giving you some tips and advice basically on not to stress and not to worry and they're all going to be over in like so quickly, it's unreal. You'll literally get to the end of your exams and be like, why was I even that stressed? Like they're over, they're done with, I've got the longest summer ever and you can enjoy yourself then. So yeah, I really, really, really hope you enjoyed and if you did, please smash a big thumbs up. And also subscribe down below and I will see you next week with another video. Bye!